All right, here we go. All right, <clears throat> let's see if we actually get anybody on here. If we actually get some people on this live, I'll be blown away. But anyways, I'm gonna sit here until somebody hops on here. Because one of y'all's gonna hop on here in a second. Hey, 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 we have our first guest on the live. What's up, Willow Skinner? How's it going? How are you? Thanks for joining the live. I didn't know if I was going to get anybody on here or not. How are you doing? Uh, bring this a little bit closer. Good. Where are you from? Where are you from? All right, sweet. So we got some chats showing up now. So that's good. Atlanta, nice. Um, I am uh, in Northeast Florida. So I don't know if you're familiar with like uh, Northeast Florida much, but all right, that's probably better right there. Hey, we got two people on here. All right, so if you are on here, um, please introduce yourself and let me know what your name is and where you're from. And please tell me a little bit about yourself because I haven't gone live much on YouTube, but I am really, really excited um, because in the last, like, I don't know, six months, I've been actually working hard on posting on YouTube and we've gone from like, less than a thousand subscribers to uh, 12,000 subscribers on our way to 13,000 subscribers. So um, yeah, um, I'm really pumped about YouTube. I think we're gonna grow a lot this year on the channel. I have some long form content ideas on the way, but I would love to hear from y'all about some like really cool, like long form content ideas that I could incorporate into this channel. And by the way, for those of you that are joining because you saw my hand, that's what my hand looks like right now. Like right there. It's pretty fat. It's not supposed to look like that. It's uh, pretty swollen. So definitely doesn't look like it's supposed to look. Just saying. Um, so yeah, please, 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 please introduce yourself. Hi, bro. Javier from Southwest Ranches. Say hello. Sorry for your hand. Um, Javier, thank you so much for joining. Um, I appreciate you joining and I hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, um, thanks for joining the live. Um, I am what would you what you would call a very, very small YouTube creator right now. But um, I plan on changing that. So I appreciate y'all being here and just think like y'all could be some of the OGs that followed me since before even 15,000 subscribers. Um, good luck with your hand getting better. Thank you, Willow. Yeah, this is uh, not good. So Willow, I actually have to ask you a question because I know some Skinners. Do you know Ellie Skinner by any chance that lives in Jacksonville, Florida? or used to live in Jacksonville, Florida. Her um, parents lived in Florida. Um, Chet Skinner, um, Riley Skinner, um, like Ellie, Peyton, any of those Skinners um, ring a bell to you? Are you related to any of them or anything like that? Just curious. And I'm not sure, um, yeah, a little. Okay. If you didn't break it when you was flash over the counter kitchen, you'll be fine. 
Yeah, so did y'all see that video of me going over the going over the counter as Flash? That's how I did it. How's my hand? Oh, it's uh it's fat. Look at that thing. It is Look at that. <laughs> Woo, it is it is not good. I should probably ice it. Um, I've iced it a little bit today, but I should probably ice it again. I just took some ibuprofen not too long ago, but I should probably ice it again. What y'all think? I, th I probably should. Y'all, we got six people on here. I'm actually really stoked that we have six people on this live. So um, I need y'all's help. I really, really do need y'all's help, um, actually. So let's bring this. Uh, I want to go to... Google Docs, and I really want to like, I really, really, really want to get some ideas from y'all about some content that I can do. So please, in the comment section, I would love to hear from y'all like some content ideas that you've seen before that you'd like me to try or like a spin off of like a content idea that y'all have seen or something like that. I would really, really love it if y'all made some suggestions to me because I don't know. I'm pretty new to YouTube, so I really don't know. Like, I mean, I'm getting there. Like, I, I'm figuring it out. I'm definitely figuring it out, but um, I have a lot to learn. A lot to learn. So we got four people on here. I don't know if I can see what four people are on here. I don't know how it does that, but how can I see y'all? All right. All right. the chat viewing options. I'm trying to just look at the chat viewing options, but I don't see anything coming through on the chat channel right now. So if y'all are on the chat, um, we just had somebody add us. We have five people on here. If all five of y'all just um, say hey in the chat so I can see it, so I can like read y'all's uh, comments. I want to see your comments. Hey, Carla. How are you? You doing well? Thanks for joining the live. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so Willow's on here. Carla's on here still. Okay, who else we got? We got Javier still on here. Who else? If we got Javier, Carla, and Willow, who else we got on here? We got two other people. Welcome, Carla. Give ideas. Yeah, yeah. Give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I need some content ideas, y'all. Gotta figure out a way to get big on YouTube and fast. Really fast. Like in a year. Like 2023 is the year. At least hitting a hundred thousand this year on YouTube. At least, at minimum, we're hitting a hundred thousand. Minimum. I'm like more aiming for a million subscribers. That's a huge number, y'all. Huge number. So if that's the goal, we got we got to like post a lot, post quality content. Um, every day live, share your family every day. So. Okay, so so do you think I should do like daily vlogs on top of like really good like like challenge videos? Cuz I could do like daily vlogs. I mean, I could put out daily vlogs for sure. I mean, they just wouldn't be cr I like like what are your thoughts on daily vlogs? I mean, like are vlogs going to help me grow? I guess they'd help me with watch time, right? 
I just don't want to kill my channel. Like if, if none of my daily, like if none of my daily vlogs are getting watched, like if none of my daily vlogs are getting watched, then YouTube's not going to like push out our videos. And that's the only thing I'm scared about. Like I want to make bangers like every single time. So when I post something, YouTube's like, oh heck yeah, I'm going to push this out to a bunch of people. So I don't know, like, do you post every day a daily vlog and then they're like, hey, this guy's committed, so we're gonna push his stuff out? And like people just genuinely like fall in love with who you are and your family and they like, they just like wanna just watch your life? Or do you post challenges like Arak and Mr. Beast and Phidias and Ryan Trahan and guys like that? Um, like obviously I can't, I can't make videos on the scale of Mr. Beast, no one can right now. Um, I don't have that kind of money, so I have to do stuff very creatively. And on top of that, I have um, I have a wife and three kids, so it's like they take priority. I also still have a full-time job, so that is also um, something that I have to contend with. So it's like I'm working a 40-plus hour job, and then on top of that, I'm a dad, and I'm a husband, and I want to be a full-time content creator. So it's like, it's a lot. If you do once a week, you'll have more time to edit versus uploading every day. I like that. I like that. So I like uploading every week. Right now I'm committed to up uploading twice a month. So like I ha I'm editing a video right now that is a challenge video. And since y'all are on here, I've let y'all into what it is. So I did the Marine Corps PT test, but instead of just doing like a regular Marine PT test, I added, or my wife, I should say, added twists and turns to it. So um, instead of just doing like max pull-ups and then max push-ups in two minutes and max crunches in two minutes and then a mile and a half run in 13 minutes and 30 seconds or less. It was like, all right, we added extra challenges to it. So like the pull up, she sprayed my hands with oil. So like my hands were super slippery when I did the pull ups. And then for the push ups, she put a candle on my back and lit the candle and said, Hey, if you, if this candle falls off or if, um, if the candle falls off or if, the candle goes out, um, then you lose. And then for the, like, I did sit-ups instead of crunches. And when I did that, um, I had to hold my dog the whole entire time for every rep. And then when we started doing the mile and a half run, every 0.25 miles, I had a different challenge. So I had to chug a sippy cup full of milk for the first 0.25 miles, and then I had to run backwards for 0.25 miles. I had to recite the alphabet backwards. I had to run blindfolded. I had to catch oranges in my mouth, and I had to run in my wife's heels. And running in her heels was the last challenge of the one and a half miles. And I tell you what, running in her heels were awful. They were awful. And I couldn't run. Like I basically, I basically was like power walking is basically what it was. Cause I could not, I could not, I could not run. I could not run to save my life. So that was, that was interesting. Okay. So you could try doing a vlog every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during the summer. Ooh, Willow, Willow, I like it. So do a, all right, so we're, so we're doing more vlogs. I like the vlogs. I really like the vlogs because you kind of get to know who we are. But at the same time, those vlogs, like, they're not gonna hold everybody's attention because it's just a vlog. So it's not like, there's high stakes involved and there's like a big challenge involved. It's like, hey, this is my life and this is what we're doing. And sometimes, um, you know. So the question is, do I wanna be a family channel? Well, technically we are a family channel. However, I don't wanna just like vlog 
all the time and that be our channel. So yeah, do are we gonna put some vlogs? Yes, we are gonna do some vlogs. But is that like everything we're gonna do? No, it's definitely not. So um, if this channel becomes, um, you could try to make a video game channel. That's smart. So I'm actually planning on doing a video game channel eventually. But my first goal is I got to get to full-time content. Once I get to full-time content, then I can devote all my time um, to doing this. Like, that's my life. Like, that's all I have to do. And then at that point, like, I'll make multiple channels. I make a gaming channel. I make, like, a reacts channel. I'll make, like, a main page channel. We can do, a, like, a straight-up vlog channel we can do all kinds of different channels like so my target audience is i want to be as broad as possible for target audience i don't want to niche down to just like parents or just like you know athletes or just mu musicians or just gamers like i want and i know that like some people are like you got to niche down but like if i can appeal like mr beast doesn't just appeal to one audience he appeals to like the masses I want to appeal to the masses. I want to be able to relate to the masses. I want to grow exponentially. Like I want to be a million plus, um, I want to be a million plus YouTube channel. And I enjoy comedy. Um, most of our shorts are satire. They're, they're comedy. So like, do I make some comedy long form videos? Um, because I haven't tried that out really on this channel. So do I make some comedy videos as well as challenges? Like, do we switch it up? You know, like dude, perfect. All they used to be was trick shots. Um, yeah. Cause I first got into your channel because of your comedy vids. Okay. So like what we could do is we could do like stereotypes and just make an extended stereotype video. And it'd be like stereotype after stereotype after stereotype. Like the Chick-fil-A ones were funny and the husband boot camp ones. Yeah, Carla. So I could like put all the husband boot camp videos together. Um, I've only posted two long form versions of husband boot camp. And one of them has like literally less than 200 views and the other one has like 2000 views. So the one that has 2000 views, that's not terrible. Um, I think I like got somebody to help me like promote that one. Not like I didn't pay for promotions, but, um, Oh, what's up, Caleb? What's up, dude? How's it going? Um, I think I got somebody to help me like share it on some Reddit accounts or something like that. And that's how I got like 2000 views. But my best long form content video only has like 13,000 views. And that's my Chick-fil-A music video. Um, and then my second most viewed long form video, I think is our music video where I, um, it's a, it's a, the, the dad, dad video. Yeah, here's my hand. Here's my, my fat hand. So definitely, definitely swollen for sure. Um, but I have so many ideas now written down. Um, I can't share them with you because they're on that phone, but I think I can pull up the Google doc here maybe. I think I can pull up the Google Doc on a, I think I can pull it up on my other computer. So, one moment, y'all do not leave. Pray for the hand. Yeah. Pray for my crippled hand. So let's see, let's go here. Let's 
Let's go back to my deuce. It's because my phone died. But somehow, uh, what's up, Joseph? Um, somehow, some way, because YouTube's awesome. Uh, I guess I kept saying Google Docs, apparently. Um, oh no! Oh no! All right, I'm back. And my phone just fell. I had to plug in my, I had to plug in my, I said Google Docs like 30 times. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, maybe that could be a video. I say Google Docs a million times. Duval! I can't say it too loud right now, Joseph. I'm sorry because my kids are asleep. But yes, Duval represent. Um, all right, so back to my documents here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Long form. Um, shoot. Come on, baby. Let's find it. Long form skits. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna read off a few. This is like top secret stuff, y'all. So the fact that I'm reading this to you, you should be like, wow. I am privileged and honored to hear these ideas. I'm just kidding. They're not that great. All right, so the first idea is I became a professional pickleballer. Brilliant, I know. Second idea, I turned $50 into $1,000 from Facebook Marketplace. I ran a half marathon in Walmart. I raced strangers dressed as The Flash. Um, I have a second Chick-fil-A music video that I have yet to edit, but I already have... Um, but I've yet to like edit it and make it a thing. Um, I trained like the rock for a day. I trained like Tom Brady for a day. I trained like LeBron James for a day. I made a rap song to prove it's, it was easy. I made a hit song to prove it's easy. Um, the new air force physical, uh, fitness test. Uh, the Navy SEAL PT test. Um, how to have the best week on Wonder of the Seas. That was my wife's idea because she says that a lot of people have been searching Wonder of the Seas, which is a um, new cruise ship that we're going on in March for a cruise. So she said we should make a video about that, like vlog about it. And it ac could actually do well because it's like an informational video. I'm not thrilled about that, but I think it's actually smart. Um, Amy! Thank you, Amy. Dude, you're amazing. I love seeing that. Uh, I live like Andrew Tate for one day. Oh my gosh. As long as that doesn't get me canceled. Um, does that mean I have to like... <laughs> People seem to like vacation vlogs. Yeah, I could do a vacation vlog. I could, like anytime we go on vacation, I could definitely vlog it. Like it's not, it's not, a, not a problem. We're on our phones and you know, we have our phones. No, he will get canceled for sure. Yeah, I don't... Just lock yourself in prison. I thought about, like, creating a fake prison and then, like, having to break out of it using only, like, a weird utensil. Like, there's this guy that breaks out of stuff only using spoons. So, like, I don't want to, like, completely just copy him. Um, but... His YouTube career will end before it begins. Yeah, I don't... I don't want my YouTube career to end. I want it to begin so let's not let's not do that um how to have okay so i became a stand-up comedian to prove it's easy um so this is the one that this guy did and i i wrote it so i dug an underground hideout i dug an underground hideout with only a spoon so if i could find an area of land where i could dig up a hole and like 
The problem is, is like in Florida, you can't dig that deep of a hole because we have the aquifer underneath us. So if you dig too deep, you could legitimately like hit water, um, depending where you're at. So I gotta be like careful with that. So I don't know, like that's gonna be a tough, tough video. So maybe that's down the, down the road. Um, but uh, I stood in one place for 24 straight hours. Um, I trained like a prisoner for 72 hours. Um, so standing in one place for 20, 24 straight hours, that seems like miserable, but it seems like something like Mr. Beast would do. So I'm like, if I could legitimately like take Friday, like start Friday night and stand in one place Friday night and then stay in that place until Saturday night and like stream the whole thing. So, you know, survival videos seem to be doing pretty good. Yeah, I know. I think survival videos are doing well. So if I could like stay in one place for 24 straight hours, like draw a circle like Mr. Beast does and say, I can't exit this circle for 24 hours. If I decide to leave this circle before the 24 hours is up, I lose. Um, I saw a video of someone surviving in the Australian Outback. I did see that too, Carla. I saw a video where this guy actually, um, there's this guy that traveled in a, like, so Eric did a video where he, traveled in a straight line across the United States, like from top of the United States, northernmost part of the United States, to the southernmost part of the United States. Well, in his straight line. Um, and so a guy did the same thing. Um, a guy did the same thing. I spied on Mr. Beast for a day. <laughs> that would actually prop, that's actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna write that one down. Um, it's a good idea, Caleb. I spied on Mr. Beast for a day. Or I snuck into Mr. Beast's headquarters. Or I snuck into Mr. Beast headquarters. I mean, it'd be get a fake Mr. Beast. That would be hilarious. What if I could find, what if I could find like a Mr. Beast doppelganger? What if I should, what if I could find like a Mr. Beast doppelganger? Hope you don't get arrested and get turned into a Florida man headline. <laughs> we might get shot if we snuck in. I feel like Mr. Beast headquarters are probably like highly secure. But what if we like, okay, so there is a video. Um, this is a video idea. Um, so Eric, Eric did a video where he, uh, he like, he did a, um, what is it called where you do a, a deep fake? Eric did a video where he did a deep fake of, um, a billionaire, uh, picking up a $1 bill. So if we could somehow do like, I wonder if, I wonder if we could do like some kind of deep fake. What if we could do a deep fake of Mr. Beast? It'd be, it'd be cool to like, oh shit. It'd be cool to do like a, um, like a deep fake. It'd be cool to do like a deep fake of, of Mr. Beast doing something with me, but I feel like a deep fake video would take a ton of money, like money that I don't have. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. Um, I dropped y'all. I'm so sorry. I dropped all nine of you. By the way, there are nine of you on here right now. That's the most people I've ever had on a YouTube live because I've only done two 
YouTube lives in my entire life. So congratulations, y'all. Get excited. Now we have 10. Now we have 10. Yo, can we get to 20 people on YouTube live? I've never been on YouTube live except for, this is the second time. So you got to tweet, Insta, YouTube, TikTok, um, around to find a doppelganger. Yeah, so that's definitely, that's definitely like an idea that I'm, I could, we could play with. I got to like figure out like, how do we, how do we, how do we like make that better? LOL, I just subscribed today. Texas T, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Um, Amy, Amy Mix, thank you so much. Seriously, like y'all don't, y'all don't un even understand how thankful I am for every single one of y'all. Uh, and I'm glad, um, I am so glad that um, y'all are here. And I hope that you stay around for a really long time. I hope that in a year from now, when we do one of these uh, YouTube lives, that we have thousands and thousands of people on here on the, on the stream. So I need y'all's help. Like y'all watch YouTube all the time. Y'all know what's, what's doing well and what's not. Um, uh, so anything that y'all can suggest, I'm like all ears. There are some lookalikes on TikTok and YouTube. Huh? I wonder if I can get them. You're amazing. I, I subbed. I'm subbed. Thank you, Willow. That, that seriously, that means so much to me that you're subbed. I sus subscribe. Blech. I subscribed to just today. Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my hand also thanks you. My fat hand that is definitely swollen. Thanks you very, very much. So here's, here's the thing. So um, I'll be honest with y'all. I have grown a TikTok channel to over a million followers. I have grown a Snapchat uh, spotlight page to um, just under 200,000 followers recently. Um, I've grown an Instagram page to almost 100,000 followers. So I know that I know what it takes to grow. I know it takes consistency. I know that it takes resiliency. I know that you can't worry about like, you know, what other people think about you. You just got to keep grinding, keep your head down, just keep working hard. You got to make quality content and you got to make it consistently and you got to just keep on going, keep on going. Not every video is going to hit. Not everybody's going to like every idea you have. Um, not everybody's going to agree with what you do, but you keep on going. You just keep on fighting. You keep on going. And so I am committed to doing this on YouTube because you're not making like people aren't making a ton of money on TikTok. People aren't making a ton of money on Instagram unless you have take that back. If you have, <clears throat> you know, two, three hundred thousand or more followers on Instagram, you can make pretty good money with, um, with brand deals. TikTok, we have over a million followers and the most money we've ever made on a brand deal is $3,000. Now that's still a lot of money. So don't think that I think that that's not a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Um, but that's the most we've ever made on, on a video is $3,000. And some of these YouTubers make over $3,000 just in a day off of ad revenue, off of ad revenue, off of AdSense. So it's like, um, uh, so like sponsorships are great. Um, also on YouTube, like sponsorships can be very great on YouTube. So like I am all in on the YouTube in 2023. Um, so like I've been watching a ton of videos. I'm super inspired. Um, I've been posting shorts consistently on YouTube, but now it's time for me to start posting not only shorts consistently, but also long form content. I've been telling people for years and still tell them that YouTube is the goat. Yeah, YouTube is the goat. YouTube has proven itself that it's not going anywhere. Matter of fact, it's only going to get bigger. There's going to be more and more people that are coming to it. Um, it's, it's a source of information. It's a source of, um, of, um, I can't even think of the word right now. 
Hello? Yes? Yes, I am. I will come down. I'll come down. Right now. Anyways. Um, it's, uh... Whoever created YouTube is pretty ballin'. Yeah, whoever created YouTube is pretty ballin'. I watch YouTube more than TV. See, it's it's entertainment. YouTube is entertainment. Thank you, I couldn't think of the word. I had a, just a minor lapse in my brain there. But, um, anyways, for the nine people of you, for the nine of you that are on here, thanks for being on here. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are rock stars. I really, really appreciate you. And in a year from now, we're going to have like a thousand or more people on, on this live and it's going to be awesome. And you can remember that you're one of the OGs. You were here before we had even 15 people on a live and you were here before we had even 15,000 subscribers. So when we hit, when we hit like a hundred thousand subscribers, just know that you were one of the, the big stepping stones in us getting to that 100,000. I just want to say thank you. And I hope you stay around. I hope you stick around. And um, if you ever have suggestions, reach out to me. You can um, follow us on Instagram, DM us on Instagram. Uh, I don't know if you can like DM on here, but I'll start doing like more posts and polls and stuff. And you can like comment, like give me your feedback. Like I want to hear your feedback because I want to be able to make great content for you guys. So um, thank you so much for your time. And I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Um, and so will the hand. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks again. You guys rock. My stormtrooper back there. Thanks, you guys rock.